name is Toby Layton. I'm with Desert Design and Construction. I'll be explaining uh, the functions of this manifold riser here for the fire suppression system inside Hangar 818, Chavez Air Force Base. I'm going to start out here. This is your water supply from your main, your underground. It comes up through a Y strainer, and this is your wet riser for your overhead uh, closed system. This is your control valve here. This controls the, the main water supply for the wet system. You got your two gauges, one for the underground, one for the overhead above the clapper. You have your main drain here. If you like to uh, drain it down, do any kind of maintenance, your main drain. And moving on up to the riser, it pipes over to an, a surge tank. So if uh, fire pumps or any kind of surges on the underground happen, this surge tank here will, will take that impact so it doesn't go into the system itself. And then moving on up, you got a flow switch which will uh, set the alarm off if there's an event of a water flow, which will actually activate the high expansion foam riser, which is manifold off it. Uh, moving up uh, past the, the flow switch, you got a, another drain, also an uh, inspector's test. They use this here to, uh, you put it to the inspector's test, uh, yearly, quarterly, if an inspector wants to see a water flow, you can go ahead and open this up. Um, there's actually a sight glass on the back side so you can see water flowing through. But before uh, you even open this valve, we have signs here. You will set off the foam. You got to isolate the foam before you activate this, this inspector's test. And then uh, that's pretty basic as far as the overhead wet system. All right, moving on over to the half system, high expansion foam. You got the same surge tank here. This valve here is normally open. That'll take the impact of any uh, water surge from the underground. You got your main control valve here for the, the main water. You got two drains, one below the clapper, one above the clapper. Then you got your, your drive line here. This is the drive line for the high expansion foam concentrate, which leads to the fire shed where the, the foam concentrate is. Once activated, the water start flowing through this line, pushing the concentrate through the stainless steel line up to the mixer, which gives you the 2% uh, foam mix, which leads up to the generators. And uh, I can actually uh, perform uh, putting it in service right now. Right now, this, this riser is not in service. The wet riser is in service. Uh, to put this riser in service, moving back behind, you got a little ball valve right here. Go ahead and turn that ball valve on. You get water flowing through here. You pull up the little pan behind it. Get your water pressure gauge. You go ahead and turn that, that valve on completely and you leave that valve on and come up front. Make sure both drains are completely shut. Now that once both drains are completely shut, you just easily crack your main valve. Let the pressure build slowly. And you can control it by, by the handle there. Then you go ahead and open it up completely. Now this deluge valve is completely set on the back of it here. One way to set it off, I got it disconnected right now. We just did a foam test. It's an electronic solenoid. Any pull station or this manual pull station up front or release the foam. And you come over on this side. If you follow the, uh, the stainless steel, you got an isolation valve up top. 
and you have an isolation valve on the back side of the, the HOV valve. And if you want to, if you want to test the HOV valve, you uh, go ahead and close both those ball valves, and you have a test uh, valve right here, which uh, is marked alarm test. And you can make sure you can test that that valve to make sure it opens up. Now coming off the back by this uh, pressure switch here, you got uh, the drive line for the HOV valve. You can go ahead and follow this line up. It shoots on over to the HOV valve here. And once there's the system trips, you get a shot of, of water here. You got a pressure regulator here, which uh, we got set at 60 PSI to operate the, the HOV valve. And to uh, reset the HOV valve once it's set off, you must open this up to relieve the pressure. Use the, the wrench that stays with the valve. And you go ahead and turn the, that, that dial there to reset the valve. Then you go ahead and reclose that once it's set. Right now that's in a, in a closed position. It's pretty much basic. This here is the only manual pull for it to set out the, the high expansion foam. The rest of it's all electronic with the solenoid, any of the yellow pull stations. Okay, uh, I got two valves up high, butterfly valves. This valve here is, is normally closed. This goes to a, a test header right outside the building. You only use this, this valve here when you do a, a test with the high expansion foam. You take samples from the test header to get your uh, 2%. This valve here is normally open. You need to shut this valve when you do the test. That way you can, uh, it flows through the test header instead of the system itself. That way you don't need to fill the, the hanger with foam. You can just get your foam through the test, uh, test header. All right, stepping outside, talking about the FTC. This would be the FTC. We have one uh, FTC for this hanger. Even though there's two risers, they tie together. So this is for the wet system. And the, above the high expansion foam. This here is the test header, which uh, I was just discussing on the inside that, that uh, you can test the foam. We got uh, one hose here that's hooked up right now. This will be removed and plugged. Normally you got four valves you can hook up hoses to and run your foam. That way you don't have to fill the inside of the hanger full of foam. This is uh, anytime they want to test the foam, this is test header here for it. Okay, now we're outside inside the fire shed. This is a 500, uh, 500 gallon foam concentrate tank. This red line here that's painted red, that's the drive line that's pushing water. The stainless steel line is the pure uh, foam concentrate. Now when it, uh, the system is activated, you get uh, this line here flowing water, which is pushing on a bladder, which the foam concentrate is inside pushing the, the concentrate down through uh, the stainless steel line and up through the mixer. Um, this is your sight glass here for f refilling the foam. Um, we have it marked here. When you refill the foam, you gotta shut your, uh, your drive line off. You gotta hook up a garden hose here, relieve all water pressure. And then you can hook up down here on the blog for your foam concentrate and uh, get a pneumatic uh, pump and pump it back up and you open up all these valves once the, the water pressure's off and your sight glass so you know when you're full. This is right here is about 500 gallons. So this is telling us that the, the tank is full of concentrate. It's pretty basic. That pretty much wraps it up. I'm Toby Layton. Thank you for joining me today. Mm -hmm.